In this video I'll show you how to copy a Commodore 64 game onto a blank tape and make it playable on the Commodore 64. I'll be using a Clone Master to do this. This Clone Master was sent to me by Tim from Shareware Plus. If you want to check them out you can go to shareware.plus.blogspot.co.uk This one I got actually comes with a nice little instructions page which it's so simple you don't actually really even need this but it's still a nice little touch that they sent this with it. It also came with a nice little product catalogue that was nice to see what else they actually made and it came with a price list guide as well. A few things you will need is obviously the Commodore 64 unit and two tape decks. One for playing the game and one for recording. The last thing we'll need is some blank tapes and it is recommended to use some good quality tapes here and there's no point in being cheap when it comes to this stuff, you might as well just buy some new tapes, they're not that expensive and it's worth it in the long run because your tapes will last a lot longer. The game I've chosen to copy is called Doriath and this is a really rare game from my childhood and uh, I wanted to make a copy of it first. But you can use anything you want, whatever you want to copy, it will copy. So put your game in one of the tape decks and connect it to port A. Port A is your source deck so that's where you're putting your game in and port B is the destination deck where you'll want to have your blank tape in. So once the Clone Master is plugged in at the back, press shift and run stop on your Commodore, press play on your tape and press record on your blank tape. This is the most crucial part when cloning a tape. Whenever it tells you that it's found the media, your tape deck will actually stop playing. This is when you have to stop the recording tape too. Once you hit the Commodore button, the tape will start playing again, so you have to hit record simultaneously. Now because I'm recording it's pretty hard for me to press both buttons at once so I do it a little sloppy here and in fact I do it probably a little bit too slow. Ideally what you should do here is stop both tape decks, press the Commodore button and then press record and play again. That way you won't miss any information. A good analogy for this is imagine you're recording a song using a tape on the radio and halfway through the song there's a break so you pause the recording. Unless you start recording the second the song comes back, it's not going to sound right. And that's all that's happening here. Things just need to be simultaneous for all the information to be there. All of these games are just songs that the Commodore reads as information. And if it doesn't hear the right song, then it's not going to give you the right game. So my advice is, when the Commodore tells you that it's found the game, stop both tape decks, press the Commodore button and press record and play simultaneously. That way you won't lose any information from the original tape. So once the game's loaded up, uh, you can press stop on the record. There's nothing else to record, so don't worry about having to time that or anything. Now I no longer need the Clone Master plugged in, nor do I need uh, my rare game. Hopefully I'll never have to use this game again. I can just play my copied game from now on. Just rewind your tape back uh, to the start. And this should just work like any other original Commodore 64 game will work. So just to demonstrate it's working, I press shift, run, stop, and press play on my tape deck. My Clone Master, as you can see, isn't plugged in. It's just plugged straight into my um, Commodore 64 unit. And not too much time passes, but my Commodore finds Doriath, and I just press the Commodore button, and it should load up. It does load up, um, but I'll cut out all the loading screens because it takes about three minutes. But there you have it, a, a copy of Doriath running from a what was a blank tape now plays Commodore 64 games. You can see that there's actually loads more room uh, left on this tape. Uh, that's all that was used up for Doriath and there's all this here is still to be used. If I wanted I could probably put like 10 games on this one tape. Uh, for, I'll personally just, I'll probably just keep this uh, as my Doriath tape and just uh, um, never have to use this again. My, my concern about using these old tapes is that um, there's a shelf life of about 30 years, um, which if you look up online how long will a tape last, people usually give 30 years and most of these tapes are 30 years old now, so I think that's people's way of just saying they could go at any moment. I mean, I guess it all depends on storage conditions and lots of other factors, but um, the way I look at Commodore 64 games is when I even when I buy them on eBay, if they work, it's a bonus, but... I don't expect them to work because they're so old um, and I don't get too bent out of shape if I order something and it doesn't work because I just like having the tape, like I just like looking at the artwork and stuff and reading the little uh, information in there, there's a nice little bit of story and stuff in this one for example. Um, 
And the reason I don't get too hung up about it is because if I really, really wanted to play it, what I have um, is the, this SD die C. This lets me play games from my SD card. So a lot of people probably think, well, um, why not just use that? Why go to the, all the trouble of buying tapes? This is like a really, it's not that great a method because you're having to buy tapes. Um, but there's something really nice about putting the tape in a tape deck. That's just, I'll, I keep saying this, but it's just, that's lost when you're just using the SD die C. Now, there are, there's like pros and cons with everything. I use the SD die C for some things, but I'll use this method for others. Um, the thought of my tapes just slowly degrading and dying to me is not a nice thought really, um, that I'll never be able to um, potentially play Dorioth from a tape again. It's just not, not a nice feeling for me. The other downside with the Clone Master, of course, is um, you need the original software. Um, so if, for example, I didn't have a copy of a game, I can't clone a copy of something I don't have. So um, that's where the playing games off an SD card really... Uh, there's, so there's there's good things um, for both. Um, there's room in the world for both of these. And uh, definitely I just love the idea that I can now back up some of my rarer games that I'll probably I'll not be able to find on tape. Um, I, li I like the idea like to me this is like this is future proofing um so if tapes only last 30 years then hopefully now i've got this and this will last for 30 years um, and by then the old the, the original game won't work but i can maybe make another copy of this or something so I, I just like um it's all about preservation to me this is preserving the code it's preserving the old games but honestly, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, it's really straightforward um, doing this, using this. Uh, like I found it straightforward and I had no problems whatsoever. Um, I looked up, before I heard about this, I looked up all these different ways of doing it and I could never find a really definitive way. People said that it's all these different variables and it can be very hard to do. I had no problems using this one. If you do have problems, it could be the um, that your tapes are out of alignment. That's the only thing I, I did here. Um, and there are tape alignment tools and stuff you can use. So look up um, aligning your Azimut. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver to sort of tweak your um, your tape deck. But this is really good. Um, the person that told me about it was like, yeah, you need to get yourself a Clone Master. They're the best things. And I was looking up eBay. I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, it turns out these things existed back when the Commodore was about. And I did find a, um, like a listing for one, like, someone was selling one of the original ones this is aftermarket this is like really modern nice and new it's got like a little led light on it and stuff and um i like i was having problems tracking this down and someone on uh, lemon64.com is like a, a forum for the commodore 64 someone was like they privately messaged me and they're like you know you want to send a message to this guy and uh, they give me the email address and um, basically all i had to do was email uh, tim and he was just like, yeah, I'll send this out to you, no problem. And he was really nice. And I went from not thinking I could track one of these down to just getting one of them uh, sent to me. It was really quick and easy in a couple of days. And I was so happy to get my hands on this and uh, now be able to start uh, copying my tapes. So definitely get in touch with Shareware Plus. Um, really nice guy and uh, super happy to actually get this. And it's great to see people are still making um chips and stuff for these old computers it's nice to see that it's keeping the Commodore 64 alive and uh, really important for preservation which I'm all for at this stage um, so yeah I'll leave links to the description please go and check them out if you want one yourself and if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave a comment on this video thanks for watching guys